All right, welcome back to this Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Let's play, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be taking on the one stage, which I know a lot of people would like, Flying Battery Zone. Now, this one's more fast, more, you know, platforming-based, but to be honest with you, this is basically another reason why I love this game. This is one of my favorite zones of the game. It's really, you know... Really tense and it really makes my thumbs twiddles a lot of platforms, tight platforming sections, which makes this game stage a little challenging. Although, given the fact that this game is so easy, considering you can actually, you know, use the uh, use the shield specific power ups to your advantage, that is definitely one of the best things I would like to say about this stage. Is of course the amount of platforming that you have to do. Because you know, Sonic isn't just about speed; it's also a platforming game. Although Sonic Speed is the one thing that makes him stand out from, of course, the usual crowd, like Mario, like Mario and other platforming mascot. I know a platform is like Crash Bandicoot, which came out two years the first game, which came out two years after this game. Oh, speaking of which, Crash Bandicoot has the new game coming out soon, and guess what? E3 is of course gonna be, of course, E3 is uh, already around. So basically, I'll be able to see. If there's going to be an announcement about, of course, there could. I'm hoping there's going to be the Crash Team Racing remaster as well, considering that, of course, the Crash Bandicoot NC Trinity has been right, well received. I could actually see another Crash Bandicoot, uh, another Crash Bandicoot remake be considered, and that would be possibly Crash Team Racing. Probably, I would love to see that. I'll be honest, and I'm gonna be honest with you, Cry Guys. I think Crash Team Racing is one of my favorite racing games, one of my favorite PlayStation games of all time, alongside Crash Bandicoot 3. Just love that game, especially with all that, all those, you know, the shenanigans that was, go on, though. <laughs> uh, that was a mistake. Can't wait for Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. It's definitely gonna be one of the get one of the games to definitely get for this year. And alongside that, Sonic Mania is also gonna be a big one. It comes out, of course, in two months' time. And Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2 is coming out next month as well, which is one of my all-time ultimate one of my anticipated games is all Splatoon 2 love that game I actually played both the demo at MCM last month and it's awesome played with of course played a player mode with of course a lot of people and I ended up winning like two of the top I ended up playing like, like winning two times and it was awesome I just wish it would. I would just wish I would be what a uh, you know esports competitor. Then I would definitely play against the whole crowd. I definitely like to play Splatoon. Just want, love the original Splatoon. So hopefully Splatoon 2. I'll be interested to see how that turns out. So I find I'm nearly finished with the Chaos Emeralds. Yes. Yes. Oh my god! Yes! I've got all of them! Got all the Super Emeralds, so I've got the best ending of the game. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a perfect because I... Because, of course, that the jumping physics was like... Bleh. But, and I didn't even get a continue. But, who cares? Because the game is too easy. And because of the save system, well, guess what? And because of all the super emeralds, the chaos em the master emerald is shining, which means you can actually play as hypersonic now. But of course, you need 50 rings like what he did was supersonic. Here we go. Of course, here we go. Now, of course, the big gimmick of the stage is of course some of the uh, the the, the capsule the the egg capsules, which of course. Have a few variable results. They can either sometimes bad things can come out. Then, then of course we have some of them can be jump pads. Then there's some baddies. Oh, oh, no, it didn't even hit me though. That's a good thing. 
So I went a different route because I need to get to that, uh, you know, special, that special stage ring faster. I'm going the other way. Up we go. Okay, so I got the got enough rings. Down, 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 down. Are we able to do that? Of course, ladies and gentlemen, that's hypersonic. This is what happens. He actually turns into, of course, this sonic hypersonic is, of course, ultimate, the ultimate super form. Alongside that, he not only can actually be so fast, he can also have the ultimate ability. We'll get to that in a minute. He can hop, move it even more fast. He can even get going even faster, though. All right, so that's Act 1 done. You... What are you doing, Tails? <laughs> Act 2. It's in Act 2, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Lightning shields. You need all those rings. Come on, give me rings. Of course, the gimmick. Of course, the gimmick of Act Two is because these revolving platforms, and there's a couple of pathways which you can actually take in order to actually get to to the goal. But because, of course, Tails is, uh, here I've been a lane to, of course, have some similar controllers, those. Because I'm using, like, the six-bug controller configuration on my, uh, because I'm using this, using my, uh, PlayStation 4 controller, and I decided to lane a few, you know, buttons. Well, unfortunately, what happened was that my, the emulator kind of crapped out. Kind of crapped out. So things, Tails, don't go near me. On sales, I oh, want you to come over, please. I'm waiting, Tails. Get your AI ass here right now. Don't go near me, please. Oh, for the love of God. Okay, so let's not get Tails here. There we go. Uh, Tails. Tails is a. I think Tails and AI might have also been a label of, of course, the same jump button as well. I think that was a similar version that happened in the Steve Roo release as well, because that also happened too. Uh, either that or I had a problem with my, uh, you know, a problem with my. Uh, PS4 controller, which I'm using. I'm actually using special software to, of course, use my PS4 controller. There's so many platforms. There's so many, of course, areas which you can actually... That one's a Switch. I didn't know that. <laughs> More I know. <laughs> More I know. Wow, it's... A, and, it, and this has definitely become a quicker route so far. These becoming up. These are becoming the possibly the. All right, all right, that is it. I'm going to unleash it once I once I reach a specific point. Come on. There we go. Come on down. Uh, I'm thinking Sonic bop his head up to the music though. Really is quite good. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh no, what is he doing? Dr. Robotics squatting. <laughs> 
Always using the uh, laser to uh, destroy the ship as a last resort. What are you doing there, to Tails? What on earth are you doing there? Has the AI bugged out or something? Seals must have also got. Come on, get in the blast, please, Tails. Come on, get in the blast, please. Yes! Need to do some more Tails abuse in the future. Right, here we go. The whole, uh, of course. Right, let's unleash. Oh, fish. Ultimate Saiyan. Ultimate Sonic Saiyan. Two, two Sonics. And the flying battery is, of course, sinking. Mom. Hey. Did he just got crushed? I think he got crushed by the toy that spoke to the platform. Where are you now? Dr. Robotnik? Robotnik, where are you? <laughs> Get him. Come on, Dr. Robotnik. There we go, finally. Got it, got you, Dr. Robotnik. And he wants to go runs away like a little bitch. Like a pansy. 45 lives so far? Ugh. It's really easy to stock up on lives in this game. Sandopolis zone. Ugh, this zone. It's not so bad in Act 1, but in Act 2, Christ, it can be the longest stage. Possibly the longest stage in the game, and there's so many of these annoyed scorpion enemies. Suffice to say, out of all the stages in this game, this is possibly my least favourite of the stages. Uh, I, know, I know a lot of people say, that which one is your least favourite in Sonic 3? Fair enough, I don't really hate all the... To be honest with you, I don't hate all the stages in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. They, this game is well designed, but... This stage... Christ, how long the stage goes on, it's so... Ah! Act 1 isn't so bad, considering it won't take very long to complete, but uh, Act 2 is too bloody long. Too bloody damn long. And these scorpion enemies don't even help me. And there are those, these little block enemies as well, that can probably hinder your path as well and try and crush you. Lisa, there's a lot, but of course the best, the best part of this stage is of course the, the uh, multiple pathways though. You can actually get to those multiple pathways because of, there's a lot of platforming in this, in Act 1, but Act 2 is where you can actually get, ooh, and of course like if you actually get all the super emeralds, the special stage rings are worth 50 rings as well. You know what, I decided, you know what, screw it, let's not use these platforms, let's go. I might as well take the short route. Whoa, got another special stage ring. Thank you, game. Thanks a lot, game, you've saved my life. Or should I say, saved my bacon. Can you play spikes? Not. Up we go. Whoop de doo. Very redundant there, considering that Super Sonic can do this all on his own.
Super Sonic does. Super Sonic FC bops his head to the uh, invisibility thing, though. Uh oh, mini boss time. Golem. It's a golem or golem. Right, this is how you defeat him easy. I think this is the shorter. Instead of actually waiting, let's uh, wait until his head pops out so I can actually, you know, get, put him to his grave. Get up! No, don't you even think about it, motherfucker! Bitch! Asshole! Eat shit or die! Don't you even resist me! Eat it! You are not going to defeat me or humiliate me! Die! And stay dead! Oh yeah! That's how I defeat a golem. A man that smashes into their face are followed by a bunch of profanities. I do apologize if anybody was offended by that. Oh, but of course the worst is yet to come. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next part when I'm going to take on the longest level of the game and, of course, go through Lava Reef. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next part of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Unlike Sonic, I don't bloody chuckle.